What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service and the Elro Mo. We out here on the prowl today. Uh, it is October here now. October. Things are slowing down, but we're still cutting grass. Uh, it's a Tuesday here. You probably get this, you know, maybe Thursday, Friday, whenever you get it. But um, Monday. Huh? Oh, it's Monday here. Man, I done lost a day. I done lost a day. Thank the Lord, I got an extra day this week now to get done what I need to get done. Yeah, we would normally do this on Tuesday, but the weather's not looking good again. Man, we got it as bad. No, we don't have it as bad as Jay's Crazy Cuts out in Louisiana. Y'all check their channel out if you hadn't, but uh, they've been getting pounded. They just had no relief from the hurricanes that come through, tropical storms, just weather moisture coming out of the Gulf, I guess. They're getting beat up out there. So anyway, we got about 23, four, something like that on the schedule for the week. We're gonna go out today and knock four of those out real quick and uh, try to make it a little bit more manageable uh, come the end of the week because as I said, we forecasted for some rain. We are in the time of year where a lot of people uh, Sometimes people will say, man, I don't think my grass needs cut this week. We say, okay. Uh, sometimes I call people and say, hey, how's the grass looking? Oh, it's okay. It can go another week. I say, okay. If we at the end of the season, we're tired of cutting. Tired. So we don't mind if they get pushed back. But uh, anyway, we uh, that's what we're working on. So anything at the beginning of the week, make the end of the week a little bit better. I got uh, some landscaping and stuff needs to be done. So, sent out some uh, bids today uh, on that uh, school that I that I showed you a little bit about or something in one of the videos. I think I took y'all over there. I don't even remember now. But if I didn't, bidding on a school. So, I um, already gave them the mowing price and then I had given them price on uh, all the hedges and yeah, I did a video on that. I ain't, I ain't put that video up, but you'll have it before then. So you might not get this till yeah, definitely the end of the week. But uh, anyway, uh, went in and shot them price. They got like 700 hedges. That, I had that in one of the videos, but yeah, it's crazy. Crazy to me anyway. So uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get y'all a little bit of footage today. That's that's the goal. All these are, uh, all these are yards that you've seen. One of them's got a little bit of growth to it. We'll try to shoot a little bit of footage there, maybe. Check back with y'all.
two hours and 15 minutes. Two and a half when we get home. I got you. Yeah, two and a half. I had two in my mind. That's when I usually start too. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we bust them out quick today. You know, Elro Mo. Got you a little bit of that uh, X1 and Super Z out there in that, I don't know, six, seven inch grass. We cut it at two and a half. So, and it looked like we was cutting a bunch. That stuff must have been eight or nine inches in places. Yeah, I, I cut it at three last time. Okay. But uh, now, we didn't trim up that property or anything. I did go over and scatter just a little bit. I don't want it to look bad, but that's that's one of those things that uh, these houses are being remodeled. And that is just to uh, stay within the city ordinance. You don't really have to trim anything. You just, I don't really even know how the ordinance reads. I just know if I go cut them, they're fine. So that's what we do. That's all we charge them for. Uh, so, anyway, look at Andy Brown. He got his skint down, don't he? Yes. Look there, man. Old Andy. I ain't seen Andy in a while. I saw him at the restaurant one day, and then I saw him sitting on the porch out here. Yeah. Blood the horn at him. Yeah. So. Yep, that's what we got going. We done for the day, so that's going to take us down to probably somewhere around 18, 19 left for the week. You can see it's looking dark over that way. A little dark anyway there's a dark cloud up there but it can rain now we don't care i was listening to the radio it says it's to rain tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be the worst day we got any uh kentucky fans on the channel <laughs> just because fsu finally won a game then you got to do that yeah fsu finally won that's true finally finally man what a miracle but uh and it yeah, was yeah. A to go. I know it. I know it. Yeah, I was kinda surprised Florida lost. That's just one of those things, eh? Made too many mistakes. Yep. How many penalties? I mean in, in, they, with six six minutes left they said already were thirteen or something. Yeah, Most in Dan Mullins tenure. Fifteen yeah. yeah. So if y'all don't know, Lanny is a hardcore Florida Gator fan, not just football. He knows about softball, basketball, beach volley, volleyball, badminton, <laughs> rat racing, everything they do down there. Gator. Love bug multiplication. He knows about everything that they do. <laughs> everything. Gatorade. Yeah. Yeah, Gatorade. Yeah. We even, we even support him, you know. Uh, but no, he really does. He knows how many touchdowns the running back had in the 1980 bowl game, you know all that stuff so anyway uh he's a long time gator long time when you start going to gator games when you say the first one was 67 fsu game of 67 fsu florida game 1967 who won florida florida Contestant. fsu had a chance to, no it was a, a bad call a bad call bad call yeah yeah, they called the FSU guy out of bounds, and he wasn't, but they called it that way. It's the way it works, man. Yeah. Well, I always say you should never let a game come down to one play, though. Yeah, that's You right. know? But uh, anyway, we're done for today. We appreciate you tuning in, enjoying a little bit of our sports uh, fun and all that kind of good stuff. Hope you all have a great day. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you, that you might sell all of your blessings as from him. Have a great day.